Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I did a poll on Twitter and it just ended after 24 hours. And basically the question was, what NLE are you editing in? I left it pretty generic um, and only gave four choices because Twitter only gives you four choices. So if you didn't see your NLE listed, I apologize. Blame it on Twitter, not me. Um, so coming at number one at 48% is Premiere Pro. 38% uh, is Final Cut Pro X. 8% is Resolve, 6% is other like Avid, Vegas, Edius, a lot of other programs probably I haven't even heard of, <laughs> which a lot of people I'm sure will remind me of down in the comments below. So how does that compare from the poll I did two years ago? Two years ago, Premiere Pro was at 56%, Final Cut Pro was at 32%, Resolve was at 5% and Other was at 7%. So as we can see here, Premiere Pro took a pretty large hit in the, my audience. Why is that? Could be a lot of different reasons. A couple of reasons I can think of. One would be content. I'm just not creating much content on Premiere Pro anymore. In fact, zero for the last probably a couple of years. And I've been creating more content on Resolve, so maybe my audience is changing. And in terms of my audience on YouTube versus my audience on Twitter, I would think maybe are very similar, I would hope. Who knows? The second uh, thing I can think of is just price. One of the reasons I switched from Premiere Pro to Resolve, I got tired of paying $50 a month, every month. And I was like, I wasn't seeing many upgrades where I was looking over at Resolve, what they were doing on the editing side, and they were like going leaps and bounds and really, really iterating over and over again quickly. Whereas the color tab on Premiere Pro was not really iterating at all. You know, they weren't, they're really wishing, pushing hard their developers to make a lot of changes. So that's one of the big reasons I switched was that and also just cost. I got tired of paying 50 bucks a month. With Resolve, I just paid one time $300. I bought a used dongle many years ago. Now you can just buy the program for 300 bucks and they never charge for upgrades. I mean, all the way from 11, um, I was on 12.5, I was on 14, I'm now I'm on 15. They've never charged me an upgrade. Um, so that's one of the reasons I switched. And as you can see the difference between Final Cut Pro X, it's actually gone up. Um, why? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not a Mac person, but when you think about the numbers, and when we look at the analytics from this past year on YouTube, uh, in terms of Windows versus Mac audience. My Windows audience is at 67%, and I've only got 31% of the people that watch me watch me on a Macintosh. So that's saying something, because if you look at the numbers of people that use Final Cut, which can only be used on the Macintosh platform, um, that number is pretty good. Um, they must be doing something right over there at Apple. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just thought you'd kind of be interested in the uh, my audience makeup of what they're using. I'm kind of interested because just you know delivering content to you guys. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. A lot of people in the comments were saying, "Well, I use two uh, NLEs, one like Avid at work, and then to come home I use Resolve." And that's kind of what happened to me when I made my switch from Premiere Pro to Resolve was I was using both of them at the same time, just two different projects basically, until they got to the point where I got my muscle memory and I knew I could do everything I needed to do in Resolve and then I just got rid of Premiere Pro subscription. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.